Uh, my name is Mark Esposito. I'm a lieutenant uh, submarine officer. So I was born in Salem, New Jersey. It's a small town in uh, South Jersey. My dad worked at a nuclear power plant down there. He was a former Navy nuclear electrician. Uh, I grew up hearing stories about my dad and his time in submarines. So it was kind of always in the back of my mind. And when I was applying for colleges, uh, I kind of had that in mind. I was looking at different options available to me, like the United States Naval Academy, looked at the senior military colleges, which is what led me to VMI. And I also looked into the NROTC program. Because of the way VMI works, I was in the NROTC program. Uh, I just wasn't committed at that time. Luckily, uh, I was able to get a sideload scholarship. A sideload scholarship is basically the Navy using its extra money. Um, so they find different money in the budget that they can kind of put towards the commissioning of officers. So since I was already in the NROTC program, um, I was given the opportunity to apply and receive one of these scholarships my uh, second year. So I had to get a couple of recommendations from professors. Uh, I talked very closely with uh, the NROTC staff and filled out my application. I submitted my grades, my PRT scores, and um, my fit reps through the NROTC to Big Navy, and they made their decision and uh, let me know later that summer that I had received it. So once I got the scholarship, obviously I had a little bit more responsibility um, both in the NROTC detachment and um, kind of towards the Navy itself. Um, once I had gotten that, I was receiving not only my tuition payments, but also a stipend. So they expect you to, you know, pitch in a little bit more um, around the unit. So I was able to um, actually be the battalion commander for my unit, so I was in charge of all of the both Navy and Marine, Marine Corps midshipmen. Basically, as soon as I decided that the Navy was the right fit for me, I knew I was gonna go submarines, or I knew I wanted to go submarines. My degree is in electrical and computer engineering, so I wanted to continue my knowledge and my um, education in the engineering um, fields, so, Obviously, the education I got becoming a nuclear submarine officer um, fulfilled that goal. I was assigned to the USS Hartford, which is a fast attack submarine out of Groton, Connecticut. So on the Hartford, I started off as the RCA, the Reactor Controls Assistant. So I was in charge of Reactor Controls Division, who did all of the maintenance and upkeep for um, basically controlling the nuclear reactor. So on submarines, I um, was a super operational submarine. We got deployed uh, two times to the UCOM area. We also got to do ISEX, uh, which is an amazing exercise where you go up under the ice. Um, you can surface through the ice as well as walk on the North Pole. So I got to walk where no one else has walked before. Pretty humbling experience. I kind of joined the Navy so that I didn't have a desk job while I was young and I definitely got that out of it. Definitely do your research. There are a lot of colleges out there that have NROTC programs, so if you're sure, make sure you pull the trigger and apply for the NROTC programs.